Okay, so for hyperbolas, and we remember that our equation on hyperbolas is either going to be x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. And then, um, uh, or x squared over a squared, or y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1. And we know that a, for both of these, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Um, and it turns out that the um, difference in the focal radii comes from the a, and that is 2a. And so the difference between um, the focal radii will always be 2a. So we're going to learn how to use this information to write equations for graphs. So for example, if we had a problem like this, um, where you have the foci are negative 4, 0, and 4, 0, and the difference of your focal radii is 4. Well, the foci, remember, are always going to be negative C, 0, and C, 0, or 0, negative C, and 0, C. So that clearly shows us that C is going to equal 4. The difference of the focal radii for this problem is 4, and so that means that 2a equals 4, so that means a equals 2. So we do the Pythagorean theorem to get 2 squared plus b squared equals 4 squared, so b squared equals 12, so b just turns out to equal 2 root 3. Well, the equation of this, remember, major axis is x, and so that means the x squared is going to come first. The a squared goes underneath that, so a is 2, and so a squared is going to be 4, minus y squared over b squared, which is 12, equals 1. So a um, hyperbola with foci negative 4, 0, and 4, 0, and a difference of focal radii of 4 equals x squared over 4 minus y squared over 12 equals 1. Another problem. Um, so um, if you have the asymptotes of y equals root 2 over 2x um, and y equals negative root 2 over 2x and your, focal red, your foci are 0 negative square root of 6 and 0 root 6. So from this, you know that... Um, uh, it's on the vertical, and so I'm going to go ahead and graph this a little bit just to give me some ideas of what I'm doing here. So the foci are 0 root 6 and 0 negative root 6, so somewhere around in here. And then your asymptotes are root 2 over 2 and negative root 2 over 2, and so that is just a little bit less than 1. Um, and so it's going to be something that looks like we're going to end up with a box. It's going to be something like this. Um, that we need to figure out. And so the question is, how do we figure out the box? Well, we need to remember that for the vertical the vertical main axis, A over B, the slope of the asymptotes is just A over B. And so we get this, and so A equals root 2 over 2B. And then we know that C equals root 6, and so we do A squared, which is root 2 over 2B squared, plus b squared equals c squared, and c squared is root 6 squared. Well, root 2 over 2 squared is just 2 over 4, or 1 half, and so you end up with 3 halves b squared equals 6. So b squared equals 2 thirds of 6, which is 4. So b equals ends up equaling 2. And if b equals 2, then c a turns out to equal root 2 because root 2 over 2 times 2 just is root 2. So the equation would be, remember, foci are on the vertical axis, so the y squared has to come first. So y squared over a squared, a is root 2, so root 2 squared is 2, minus x squared over b squared, b squared is just 4, equals 1. So given that information, the equation of our um, uh, Hyperbola is y squared over 2 minus x squared over 4 equals 1.